Gone for the hook. And away it goes. Four. And then Skinner's send away. Slips and all gullies. Good shot. Allerton on the front foot. Times that beautifully through the covers for four. Oh, what a good shot. That's uh, even better, I think, than the one in the previous over. Gone this time. Triscothic uh, flat-footed. Presents an easy catch through to Gilchrist. Gillespie gets the breakthrough. And Triscothic will be annoyed with himself. England are one down. There he goes again. He's got hold of that uh, pretty well. One bounce, four runs. Hammered away. Very confident shot from Mark Butcher. It's away through the gap between point and uh, the second of the gullies. Taken by Mark Ward, second slip. Didn't take long for McGrath, did it? England 75 for two in the 25th over. Butcher goes for 21. Nicely played. Timed well down the ground. Long chase for Brett Lee. I don't think he's going to win it, though. He doesn't. No stroke played, and uh, John Holder's fingers up. Even before the appeals have uh, finished, superb piece of bowling by Glenn McGrath. Completely hoodwinked Atherton. That's the 15th time that he's dismissed him in Test cricket. He really is McGrath's bunny. Well, after that, played beautifully just behind square for four. Beautiful balls. Well, that's worth celebrating for Brett Lee. That's just about as good as it gets for him, I think. Joy on the face of Brett Lee. Look at the effort there. It's a ball of full length. Goes through the defences of Ramprakash. Middle stump, peg back. Does he enjoy that? Yes, that's one for him. Gone, just uh, flick the glove, a little bit of extra bounce. McGrath has got the breakthrough early, that's the one Australia wanted. And I don't really think Stuart could do much about that. Absolutely on the button once again, he has to play at it. A little bit of extra bounce. Oh. Fended at that and gone. That was uh, a rip snorter of a delivery from uh, McGrath. It's McGrath again, you can't keep him out. Has a little fiddle at that. Shouldn't have played at it, Graham Thorpe. There you go. Wicket went for it. Wide delivery, full length. Craig White goes for it. And Matthew Hayden takes a straightforward catch. Glenn McGrath picks up his fifth wicket of the innings. That's nicely timed. That will give the crowd something to enjoy. It's well played. Over pitched and driven down the ground. That'll go all the way. That's gone very, very high. And it's got the distance too. That's six runs. Big top edge from Dominic Paul. Clears the boundary down there at long leg. Brings him six. That's the way to the onside. Running down the hill for four runs. Oh, good catch. Very fine catch indeed by Ricky Ponting. Just for a moment, it looked as though it wouldn't quite reach. Even though it was hit hard, Ponting very deep at point there. Cork on the attack. Hits it well enough. Ponting's deep, coming forward. Inches off the ground. Ah! Superbly bold. Paddock uh, not resorting to the sweep. He'd now wish he had. Trying to use his feet, but uh, Warren's simply too good for him. That's the ninth England wicket down on uh, 181. Caddick misses out this time. It's under 13. Lofted in the air. Good contact from Goff, and that'll roll away for four. It's all over now. 
Darren Goff looking for the uh, repeat. Just got one thing wrong, he missed the ball. Well, it's just a seed in the air, totally. Uh, edged, oh, gone. Yeah! Gone for all. Thorpe takes the catch, Carrick makes the breakthrough. And Butcher with the catch. It's a really good start from Caddick. That's a splendid series of five balls, and he's got rid of Hayden. Ponting's first ball. Ponting away, uh, first ball in emphatic fashion. It's a glorious stroke for four through uh, mid-wicket. Pressure's uh, relieved. That's why you want to keep the pressure on. That's a flyer from Goff. Thorpe has taken the catch at third slip. But Goff is back with a bang, and that's an unplayable delivery that has got rid of uh, Ricky Ponting. Audio player these. So Alex Short get one similar delivery from Glenn McGrath. Oh, that's a glorious shot. That's the shot of the day. Magnificent shot off the back foot through extra cover from uh, Mark War. Pick the bones out of that. Four runs and uh, very easy ones too. That's the way it looked anyway. Up on his toes, away through the covers for four. Caddick came out of the attack originally. Well, it's success straight away for Andrew Caddick. He gets wickets from the nursery end, he gets them from the pavilion end as well. He knows as soon as that nick, that dreaded nick, that sound, the ball flies through to Stewart. There's no third man, that'll be another boundary. Well bowled. Real wide of the off stump, the length was good, it's driven though, it's a fine shot. Oh. Doesn't matter, that's four runs. Oh, I'll pick it back, thanks. Just that bit of width. That'll uh, run away for four, I think. Fine leg is very square. And Australia go into the lead. Well, he's got there. There's a no ball. The inside edge gets Mark War through to 100 here at Lords. It's his uh, second 100 in England. He's fifth against England and he's 19th in all. Direct hit. Steve Butner was uh, facing the other way. No, as you know yourself as a batter. He's a little bit flat-footed there, decides to take off. In comes the fielder, not a good position there, not far from the... Well, it's a good throw, but isn't it, from side on, but he's not very far away. And he's a metre short, isn't he? Good piece of fielding there. A disappointing end to a marvellous innings from Mark Waugh. He's uh, run out for 108. Well, it's not anymore. Make that 2-2-6. Two, two, it's an impressive shot. That could be out. It is out. It's caught down the leg side. Steve Waugh gloves it. And Eric Stewart takes a good catch. Lots of short balls bowled by Dominic Corp. Just brushing the glove on the way through. A man was brought in in the leg goalie position as well, in case it hit the glove. Is uh, Paddock going to float one up outside the off stump? Yes, he is, and it's going to go for four. Bob Willis just turned clairvoyant. Goff can't believe it. The rest of the England team can't believe it. Mark Butcher at second slip. Smashed away through extra cover. What a chase for Trescothic. In the air and over the top of Ian Ward. That's another Gilchrist boundary. Well, it's beaten uh, Goff. Cork is going to have to chase that, but it's beaten him as well. Well, they must have think 
Yeah, I think they've got him and have got him. Kanik has uh, fought back. And Damian Martin on his way. He was just trying to sway out of the way of that uh, short ball from Andy Kanik. Must just have flicked a glove on the way through. With uh, shoulder height, it doesn't. Goes to leave it. And it's actually off the bat. It's the back of the bat. Well, he'll consider that to be unlucky. Oh, dropped, I think. Ward at uh, cover point. Goff's head goes down again. He's had no luck uh, this morning at all. Should have been taken. Catches win matches, so they say. And that's what you get. How often do you see that missed chance? And the batsman the very next time he's on strike, clubbing it to the boundary. That's Gilchrist at his best. Right. And Shane Warren's on the attack now. He's uh, crashed that through extra cover for four. Australia on the lookout for quick runs. And they're getting them. Oh! Gone. Fine edge. He's off. Just uh, the thinnest of edges through to uh, Alex Stewart. I think uh, Warren was looking to leave that. Well, I think that's gone through the hands of Gully as well. It's gone for four, and Goff's head's down. Gilchrist has 50. He'll feel uh, slightly fortunate. He's been put down three times this morning, including that uh, chance that's taken him through to 50. Well, that's gone through extra cover, it's beaten the diving Ramprakash and it's beaten the diving Cork. Well, here we go. Advancing down the pitch, didn't time it, but it's gone for four. 350's up. A straight to Michael Atherton. There's a very nasty infectious disease out there. Involves dropping cricket balls. <laughs> That's a clever shot. That's almost 6 2. Gone this time. Goff barely uh, raises a smile, but he's got his man at last. Three times Gilchrist was dropped off him. This time Stewart makes uh, no mistake. As uh, Gilchrist gets a glove through to the keeper, Goff. Finally gets his reward. Well, that's a shot to, worthy of a number four. Glorious extra cover drive from Brett Lee. Bold. Gillespie's gone. Goff gets a little bit of in-swing, pulls it full and knocks back Gillespie's uh, middle stump. Three slips waiting. Bolt, there it is. One ball is all it's taken. Caddick gets uh, five for five for 101. Shows the ball to the crowd. It's his tenth five-wicket haul in Test cricket for England, and that has wrapped up Australia's innings. They're 401 all out, leading by 214. Just one delivery inside edge onto the stumps. And Andy Kadik has done exactly what his captain wanted him to do. End this innings. Yeah. Off the outside edge. Beautifully bowled by Gillespie. He started off with his line too wide of off stump, but he's got it absolutely perfect. Good shot. Butch has looked impressive when uh, he's looked to hit the ball. Full face. And a beautifully timed through straight mid off the four. Fine shot. We saw that uh, very early. Great shot. Sees the ball early. Just stands there. He knows he's gone for four. Ah! Nice ball in. Round his legs. That one's turned up the hill, maybe a little bit out of the footmarks in the bowlers follow through, but it's the end of Michael Atherton. 
in this in second innings. That'll end the chat. Going for the sweep, action on the ball, it's spinning like a top there. It's middle. A great delivery once again from Shane Warne. Well, they're all asking, he's got him. That's a great spell of bowling from Brett Lee. He's put every ounce of effort into this spell and he's reaping the rewards too. Quick bowling, straight bowling. Oh, that's easily played, isn't it? That's beautiful. Nice try to get into position. Good flow of the hands. This one is going to go for four. And that boundary will bring up the 50 partnership between uh, Butch and Rampakash. Away over the slips. And uh, 50 for Mark Butcher. Overdue uh, a bit of luck. He had a wretched morning, Mark Butcher, in the field, spilling uh, a couple of catches. Beautifully timed. Beats the despairing dive in the covers. Four more to Butcher. Hit it. He's hit it. Oh, well. Steve Button has given him. I think there's a big inside edge on that. I could hear uh, at least a couple of noises from the stump microphone, but the Australians are jubilant. Ramprakash can't believe it. Shakes his head, desperately disappointed, but he's got to go. He's LBW to Gillespie. Well, that's a good shot. Beautifully timed. Didn't try to hit that too hard. Sometimes he does. On that occasion, it was just all timing through extra cover for four. Four more. I think the war experiment may just be over. Oh, that's out. Gone. Yeah, no question. Stewart trapped on the back foot. And McGrath gets the breakthrough. It's only taken two balls for him to uh, get rid of Stewart. And he's plum LBW on the back foot. Edged. Gone first ball. Ponting takes the catch, McGrath has produced a snorter. And Ward has gone first ball, that's a good catch by Ponting, that went quickly to him. Australia on a roll now. Gone now, just a thin edge, it's gone through to the keeper. So Gillespie now gets in on the act, England are subsiding. Butcher, the man who provided uh, staunch resistance, has gone now. And England are seven down. Innocuous delivery, there you are, hit that, just gets a nick on it. Ball goes through, on fire here, Australia. Thank you very much. Shane Warne gets in on the act now. Nice, comfortable catch for him. McGrath can do no wrong again this morning. That's a fine shot, that has raced away. McGrath is down there. It's four more runs, though. It's been an exciting over. That's into the gloves. That's the ninth wicket to fall. Jason Gillespie makes it four for him. Andy Caddick's method, uh, not exactly proven. It worked at Edwiston in one innings. Means that he's just uh, glided that one straight into the gloves of Adam Gilchrist. Oh, beautifully taken. That uh, wraps it up. Well, they do make catching look easy. And it's uh, a world record extended for Mark Waugh. Blasts away at the top of the innings. That'll do nicely for him. Taken at second slip. Advancing down the pitch, that's another wicket for Paddock. Don't think Steve Waugh will be very impressed by this at all. Not too sure what the hurry is. Steve Waugh is a man that goes for records and be happy to win this test match by 10 wickets, but he won't know, and he'll be asking Mr Slater why. Good shot, and uh, Steve Buckner's finger goes up. Uh, 
Ricky Ponting has failed again at uh, number three. And Darren Goff picks up a wicket. Australia 13 for two. They still need one more. Yes, he can. It's through it off. And it'll run away for four. So Australia have won the second end power test match by eight wickets and take a 2-0 lead in this uh, Ashes series. Things are looking grim for England after their revival in the winter against Pakistan and Sri Lanka and uh, four series wins in a row and one draw. They're facing uh, a humiliating uh, Ashes defeat here. Australia 2-0